Hi Aries and welcome to the May 16th, 2016 reading for Aries. Um, I'm Josie K and welcome to Josie K Tarot. What I do is set out a bunch of different decks of cards and I pull from them as I feel I am be call being called to do so. I put them in a specific order sometimes and other times I don't. Sometimes I grab them and look behind them, sometimes I flip them and pull them and do whatever I'm going to do with them and they just kind of tell me and I just roll with it and it seems to me that it's working so that's the best explanation I can give. If there are any messages that are touching base with anybody, feel free to contact me for one free reading at josiek42 at gmail.com. Thank you. Um, what we started out here with was temperance, actually, which was kind of like temper, temper, keeping things balanced a little bit, maybe even a Libra. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this card says happy home life. Look at how comfy and cozy that looks. Beautiful. We went over here to the Rider Waite deck and we see the Queen of Swords. Now, we know that's not you, so therefore I know that we are talking about somebody who may be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, sun, moon, or rising sign, male or female. Okay, we get to the High Priestess here. It is Archangel Haniel and she says, listen to your intuition, have patience, and consider carefully what you want before acting. So maybe you're making a choice Maybe it has something to do with keeping things even somehow. That's the feeling I get. So I'm going to quick just run through the happily ever after. Sometimes it's like, oh, that's just boring. It's happily ever after. But that's what everybody wants, really. In the recent past, we got the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is a little sad. A little bit of depression. A little bit of maybe losing something or someone that you feel bad about. But look at her hands. She has two cups with which she could celebrate with. Cling them together and say, what are the positive things we can focus on? Okay. Um, at the foundation of your reading, you have some inability to be able to make a harsh decision. Probably because the center of your reading is justice. Is it the right decision or is it the wrong decision? And as you move forward, there's the queen or the three of coins and the three of coins um, shows me that you're really starting out with a new job or idea and you're really getting focused on it yet somehow inside you're worried about whether or not it's going to turn out how you want it to and here's your outcome card the sun so that's a super awesome very simple straightforward pretty much reading not being able to make a choice, making that choice pretty confident about where it's going. Don't worry because you get the sun card. And the sun card I'll read for you says, Ooh, just saw it, just saw it. Enjoying life. Everything is clear and in good working order. Even with humans and their contradictions, you are at ease with it. Contentment. Don't fret. Life doesn't get any better than this. Don't fight or analyze such ease and happiness. Go with it. So that's a really, really super good card. So there's got to be some good things going on right now. Um, yeah, so Injustice, let's just look that one up too since it's a major arcana card. And let's see what it says. It says, the message is simple. You make your future by your actions. You are at a point where you are questioning why something happened or is happening. Look to your past actions. How have they created the current situation? This is a time for taking responsibility for your life. Okay, so sorry about the pause. I have children and animals coming in and out and um, uh, boyfriend outside trying to work with his vehicles and it's kind of loud so I was talking about justice hmm. learn from past mistakes okay the scales represent the karmic balance of life and it must be maintained make your own future by your actions take responsibility for your life while past mistakes have future ramifications your present actions will shape your future so to make it very clear your present actions are indicating whether or not this will work out 
this job or relationship in order to make you the sun. And we want to be the sun, okay? So I feel like it wants to continue on, and as it does, I may start to ramble. Taking a new path, maybe with a Sag. Sag. I always call the King of Wands a Sag. But it's the King or Queen of Wands, by the way. And it's a Sun sign, Moon sign, or Rising sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Taking a new path with them might have an issue concerned with money. Could be someone at work. Then you're offered a cup of water. This is yes. You make the right choice. It may be with regards to someone from your past who may be a water sign or who you are wanting to offer love to. If it's a water sign, it's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. High Priestess says, you need to create the choice that you want. Don't be afraid of making that new beginning. Wait in there for the right timing. Watch your temper. Here comes the Knight of Wands racing in. So it is a fire sign, Sag, Aries, and Leo. And you are wanting to offer your love back to them. You almost are jumping on a chariot and getting ready to go because there is a brand new path or job offer where you're tired of fighting and want to run away from to get on this new path. But you have to be patient and wait for your ship to come in. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of time. That's what I get from all that. So, gosh, and this is just for a week, so it's just kind of a good week to kind of take things in. We're going to check out real quick. Did we check out what this whole temper temper was about? Well, it's about a Knight of Pentacles from your past, which was probably an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. On a three of pentacles, maybe to do with work or a contract or a job you are trying to create. You feel like you're just not getting there. You feel like everything's failing, that you can't create that what you want for some reason. But you do, and you'll end up looking at it and saying, oh, look at the beautiful thing that I created. Judgment is going to come into your life. You have the fool. It's just an option to start a new path, and you will be the star. Very similar to the last reading we just did. And let's listen to the star because that's always a nice card to read. Okay, and the star says, Peace, calm, faith, and hope. A unity of thought and spirit in understanding that everything happens in perfect timing. Having faith in the good things that are coming. Replenishment of faith. Beware of lack of faith or giving into despair. Do not lose faith in that promise you have made to yourself. Okay, um, the Queen of Swords, sometimes I think that's a job. King or Queen of Swords person is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Nope, they want, or they did offer love in the past. In the future, there's even more love offered, but it looks like a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're tired of working on everything. You want to put down your wands and just take a break and take a chariot and get the heck out and make a decision. And the spirit is saying, wait. The lover's card may seem like someone is offering you a gift that's kind of fancy. And love. You want to head that way and hope that what's in that cup is what you thought. But this ended up with that. And the person ended up being that. The devil. The stinker. Right next to... Okay. So he's not your soulmate. He's... A soulmate lesson. I'm going to start to say that. Soulmates are soulmates. They were meant to be, and that's a happily ever after. A soulmate connection is someone that you learn from or who you teach along your path, okay? So I ask the messages from your angels oracle card deck to please let us know for the week of May 16, 2016 for Tauruses what it is we need to know for advice. And you got Astara. Boy, a lot of people have been getting this one. Reaching up and be able to touch the star. To get what you want. To go for it. See, as you touch it, it even glows even more. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and do not compromise. Okay? Figure out what it is that you want. Create it with the high priestess. Who says, listen to your intuition, intuition, have patience, and carefully consider that which it is you want before acting. And then there's a king of fire again. Sagittarius or Leo. 
fire. Time to rest and tea. Okay, so focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Take a rest. Meditate for answers. There will be a happy outcome. I'm not sure if that one was with regards to work or with regards to love. A positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Money. Money. Gifts of money. That's what I'm going to say right there. Aries, you're going to have gifts of money. Okay. Wow, that's a good way to end a reading. So I really hope that you'll, you enjoy your May 16th, 2016 reading. And I hope Taurus, Aries, Aries, to see you again next week. Have a great day.